This is Dartmouth01 and I'm creating this video to show you guys a few things I've learned about ATTI and manual gains on the NASA M. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the white spy quad to the DJI NASA assistant so that way we can change some settings to allow for me to change the gains in flight using these dials on this controller. This controller is a Turnigy 9X radio. If you have something different, as long as you have enough channels on the receiver and as well on the radio, you can do something similar. So let's get started by powering it on. And as you've noticed, I've got the props off for safety reasons. We're going to first turn on the transmitter. So now transmitter's on. And now we plug in the quad. And as you can see, the blinking red light or the blinking light is working, so that means we are good to go. And now we'll connect the DJI USB cable to this unit. And I've got the NASA Assistant already queued up. And we are going to plug the quad in. So now it checks for the software that it's fully up to date, which it is. So now we're going to take a look and see how to connect the X1 and X2 ports of the NASA to your receiver so that you can adjust the gains remotely from your transmitter while flying. Alright, on the NASA, if you can look through the bubble, there are ports on the back side of the NASA that are labeled X1 and X2, and they're on the right hand side. Now, you need to connect servo wires from those ports to your receiver, in this case a Frisky DHR2+, Plus, and that way you can change the transmitter settings so to operate the gains through X1 and X2. So we're going to go through that now. In this case, I've got a red wire coming out of X1 going to my number 8 port on the Frisky. Re uh, receiver and we've got a blue we've got a blue wire coming out and going to the number 7 port on the frisky so what i'd like to do is set the dials two dials on the controller to control the percentage of gain that i have while i'm flying now i've already set the auxiliary 2 dial here to be tied to the aug ATTI gains in the NASA. What I'm going to do now is set the X1 value to operate on this dial here so I can adjust both while I'm flying. Now currently my X1 value is tied to uh, the this switch over here and that turns on IOC or intelligent orientation control. So for the time being I'm just going to turn it off and assign the X1 value to this dial right here. And the first thing that I've got to do is got to go into the menu and go over to settings, enter settings, and then move to auxiliary channel enter that and currently as you can see my channel 7 is set to gear and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to be throttle pitch or hover throttle I believe let's take a look it would be hover pitch it looks like so I've changed it here and we're going to exit out exit 
All right, so now we've got the quad connected to the NASA assistant on this computer. And where you would play with the gains is in autopilot tab. The gains here, as you can see, are basic gains and you have pitch, roll, yaw, and vertical. So that covers all four directions that your quadcopter or multicopter can go. And then it also has drop down boxes for remote adjust. And then attitude gain are also two other uh, adjustments that you can make. And those can also be assigned to remote adjusters, as you can see here and here. So what we're going to what I've what you see already is that I've tied my X1 port on the NASA to be remote adjusters for the attitude game. The X1 output from the NASA is connected to um, right here to this dial. So if I turn this dial, if I turn this dial here, you should see the gains go up and down. And I'll zoom in some more so you can see that. So it goes all the way from 45 percentage to 177%. And in the middle, I've had it set to about 85, 86. So now what we need to do is change some settings in the NASA assistant so that it'll accept the dial as adjusting the basic gains, which is what I don't have attached to anything on the controller right now. Now, if you look at the intelligent orientation control, if I turn the dial, it's going to actually change that right here because I still have the X2 port tied to intelligent operation control. Now, I'm going to turn that off by clicking on this box here. And now, I need to change remote adjust to X2 so that the dial will adjust the gains. Now, the thing that you need to keep in mind is that you have to have the dial in the middle of its travel so that you can get full range in both directions. And what I mean by that is currently I've got about 120 across here. Now if I turn the dial all the way positive, it should be about double the value that was in there. So I had 120, so it's now 229 approximately uh, is what I get if I go fully positive on the dial. If I go fully negative, I should get about half of 120, and it's close, uh, it's 70. Now, the reason why it's not exact is because I probably don't have the endpoints set exactly right. But, for this exercise, we're going to leave it. Now, just to show you, if I turn this knob, it should be adjusting the gains in basic. And if I turn this knob, it's now adjusting the gains in attitude. And what I've done is, based on what I've read online, about 120 for basic is good for the NASA, depending on your setup. And for attitude, about 100 is good to go to start with. So I've set my middle values to be about that. So that way, when I turn on the machine, it's not going to be extreme one way or the other and go out of control. So once you've got your basic gain values and attitude gain values where you want, and you've got your dials centered, then you can hit the right button to write those values to the DJI NASA. So that way, when you start flying, those values will be the ones that you start with, assuming you have the dials in the middle. And as you can see, the red values, which were not written to the NASA yet, are now written by clicking on the right button. So we're going to disconnect everything, put the props on, and go flying and see what it looks like.